a big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there welcome to my channel and welcome to this particular collective reading and in this particular reading certain messages have come out to be very strong like some people's energies have been popping out uh, very strongly via this session i would be relaying those to you i must tell you that we are all vibrational match to the things that we attract including content and this ascension based content is created with the intention of helping those people out who are in the inner work journey in the world of inner work we take responsibility for our own actions and we also focus on changing our own selves rather than changing the world around us and doing so takes us to the higher dimension we become a vibrational match to the reality that we are trying to create many a times once you surrender you may not even know what you're creating because you have complete faith in god in source in your higher beings whosoever is connected with you whosoever you have a lot of uh, faith on you believe in them in the higher powers and the benevolent guides who are with you you believe wherever they are taking you is going to be the right place for you so many a times we don't even question we take help from them of course and surrendering is one of the key stages of this journey and many a times we learn by trial and error and as i try to relay this particular message for you i am seeing that there is definitely the energy of trial and error because there is probably someone in your periphery around you who has been playing a lot of mind games with you over a number of years like it's not just few months but a number of years because see we have different types of energies we have different types of people a lot of people think that it's only your supposed twin flame or the person you think is the one for you is the only person who you need to work upon but that's not true there are different types of people and different types of energy that are around you especially during separation or around separation like maybe when you just recently separated you attracted some other person in your life maybe you attracted some friends or you know just wanted to kill time you wanted to distract yourself so you got in touch with some people and now that your inner work has progressed for all these years and you have realized that separation is simply an illusion it's not really real thing you have also realized that there are some other people around you who have actually latched on to you or who have kind of tagged themselves along with you but they are not contributing in your growth or in your life they are simply dragging you down or pulling you down and they have been playing excessive mind games with you lots and lots of mind games with you where another energy is being shown to me that they have been acting too hard to get like they act like you know they are a prized possession they are too high on the pedestal even simple things like if you say specifically if you want to see them in person so they will not come in front of you that easily they will make you wait or they will give you lots and lots of excuses but as soon as you go away from this person as soon as you try to detach from this person then the person who carries this energy this toxic energy will bread crumb you will throw some you know bread crumbs at you some pieces at you and be like hey i'm still around or you know they will have a talk with you they will be like you know what i think you're upset with me or even if it's not that they have understood you over a period of time that you are a genuinely a nice person accepting accommodating and maybe they put you on this trip kind of a trip where they have a lot of problems in life and you know they need your sympathy they need your attention they always need they always need they are very needy and they want something but they will make you feel like you are the needy one you know and maybe initially maybe you were needy too there is nothing wrong in accepting that yes at one point in time when you attracted these people in your life you could have been emotionally needy you were empty you were going through a lot and that's why this time frame has been given to me 5 years 6 years 7 years all these years have been given to me maybe in some cases it's 3 years old but you have learned faster than others uh so depends on whatever template you carry so this person i'm being shown is someone who has always acted like it's not so easy to get them like they are the hardest most difficult you know but not in a way that you know it's a challenge or it's a problem but in a way 
that they themselves you know are stuck in such situations such difficult situations such complex situations they are working on themselves they are doing something on in you know in their life and a lot of them are also going to show you that they are very spiritual so that you believe them like you are going to believe them when they say i'm doing inner work i'm working on myself like people who do inner work are also easy going they are they are not that difficult and they are also very straight forward you know if they are not interested in a person they will be like i'm not interested and that's why many a times when you got sick of this person's behavior they were like you were like you know i don't think this is something i want to have this type of energy in my life you know maybe you feel like you're talking to a ghost maybe you feel like you're talking to a shadow maybe you're feeling like you're talking to a person who's truly invisible maybe you know they send you some selfies but you realize that they're always posing in the same way or their selfies are not really clear or if they send you some videos also like you have to really ask for it you have to ask for it and there has to be some barter if they talk to you on the phone if they make voice calls also to you if they make video calls also to you there is always some mystery there is always like you know you are just a part of they're very busy they they're very larger than life uh, kind of larger than life kind of life yeah like their life is too important you know their problems are too important and they always act like they need someone to take care of them so they always create this energy and i'll tell you why this point is important because they are usually around people who are going to fulfill their needs these are typical typical narcissistic people who only make very need based kind of friendships not spontaneous friendships not spiritual friendships not genuine or real friendships so what i am being shown in this energy first of all it's a energy which creates a lot of confusion secondly this is a person who does not stand up like stand in front of you the physical presence element is less even if it's there they're going to make it a big deal like oh i came to meet you who oh, i spent time with you and as soon as they do that they would want something in some cases the physical presence is literally not there they play games like you know catch me if you can kind of games on an energetic level and whenever you try to get close to them they always act like it's not for them it's not meant for them and you know they don't ever present the correct reason the actual reason and i'm being shown that when you communicate your feelings with them like if you have ever told them like you know what i don't like this drama or i don't like this weirdness uh, why don't you just come across clean they will never communicate properly with you they will either shut you down or they're going to be like i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i don't know what i feel i'm so confused you know what they won't even say sorry they won't apologize it's just a very 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 weird energy very you know mind i think kind of energy of a person and i'm being shown that whenever you establish boundaries with this person this person could have also gone missing so when you establish boundaries they they are not like hey let me work on this or let me present myself to you or let me you know talk to you what is it that you're upset about okay you know nothing like that nothing like that so whenever you define the boundaries whenever you say that okay i'm out of this they will vanish and then after say 6 months 4 months suddenly they will appear because maybe one of their supply is not working fine you know they have multiple supplies this type of person has many supplies and they could have all kinds of supplies all age groups of supplies they have tried also to keep you hooked on and that's why i'm saying whenever you go away from this person whenever you decide whenever you're strong that's when they will take one step forward and that would be a small step like it would be not such a big thing that they will do for you but they will make it sound like a very 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 big thing okay and this has gone on for so long that you've caught their bluff like you have figured out the pattern there that they exist on that they live on you have realized their tactic you have realized their game whatever game they play you've also realized that this is not a person who's a victim this is not a person who needs people because they need they are just too privileged in their head they're just so 
so like high up in their own head and it's not wrong to be high up in your own head but it's their ego like either they think that they are too damn good looking or they think that they're too damn rich or they think like they're too damn something about them is like very materialistic it's not a spiritual thing at all and how you can differentiate between a real authentic person because a real authentic person does not play all these games they are very clear very straightforward they make friends they'll make friends they like you they will like you they love you they will love you they will say it if in any case things don't work out things are difficult then they will tell you so you would be that type of a person like you have done in the past but their shutting down communication or their acting like a zombie they're acting like oh they don't understand anything you have figured out that they are just playing a game with you and now you don't want to be a party to this game you don't want to be another player in this game this is a permanent time like maybe in the past you had given them chances and giving someone chances for so long is not easy i'm also being shown that there was probably a time frame when you had completely cut this person out of your life like you had no idea where they are who they are what they do so they probably came up with something very big to connect with you or to associate with you which you would probably not deny you would probably think maybe it's an esoteric connection maybe it's a god made connection maybe this connection is difficult but you're still going to work through it so you kept them around you know but you you got sick of it now you're sick of it that's what i'm being shown at present your energy is not the kind of energy where you are interested in this person and still this person is playing mind games with you and let me tell you once you detach with this person 100% they might show up in front of you in a slightly different way but this is not the kind of person you want to associate with for the rest of your life like you cannot do this forever you don't have that much time you don't have that much energy and you also feel that this person even if they come into your life they will make you do a lot they will make you do a lot like every day it would be so tiring and so hectic you figured it out you literally figured it out that this is an extremely selfish person extremely like hardcore narcissist you know and because this person cannot change so you have changed yourself you have changed yourself and hopefully in future they will realize their mistake maybe they already do that's why they are going to try to win you back in small bread crumbing ways first but you have to be very strong whosoever it is this person is going to be very strong now they will completely detach from this person emotionally and then maybe they will bring out a little bit more and they will play some more games and they will be like hey you know what i'm not like this my suggestion to you is just limit contact with this person this is what i'm being shown as guidance because their mind games are continuous number 1 number 2 they disregard your boundaries number 3 they don't take you as a person who has emotions and feelings number 3 they don't see you as a human being they see you as a toy and you know that you know that they're just playing with you they're playing with you like you're a toy like you have no emotions no feelings and it hurts it hurts to be hovering around a shadow or to know that a shadow is hovering around you smelling you constantly taking your energy scooping out your energy going away running away coming back this is not even like a typical runner chaser dynamic this is more like they have played with your faith they have played with your spiritual interest because this connection probably happened after a very heavy and strong rana chaser dynamic was over in your life with a specific person or you know with someone you were in a very strong relationship with so you were you had decided that you will not enter this thing ever again this hot and cold so they played the cards very well they made you feel uh like no 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 they are just like a spiritual person who's very much interested in doing inner work you know they are a nice person they could talk about yoga they could talk about fitness they could talk about health they could talk about food they could talk about god they could talk about so many things that maybe made you feel like you know you don't want to have a physical connection with someone maybe this is a spiritual connection that was bound to be that was bound to happen in your life you thought that way 
so now is the time that you have to cut out the roots you have to like uproot this situation forever and maybe this person is going to help you do it because as per my energy reading whosoever energy is popping out you just don't want to do anything with this person like you're that sick and tired a lot of time has gone by maybe in this case you know again how they uh, triggered you was again they were doing the same things with you like they acted like they are this close to you this close to you this close to you like there is not much distance but again the game started again the mind games again the toxicity like even when they came this close to you like for example this person has been an example came to my mind has been talking to you for three years okay and they have been making a lot of plans to meet you connect with you they've also mentioned that they have some kind of feelings uh, with you for you but not very directly they have mentioned it but in bits and pieces like oh you know what i'm very much attracted to you i really like you there's something about you you know and they would drop the hints and they would but the time frame of dropping the hints is too long like today they drop the hint then after 4 months again they're dropping a hint after 6 months again again they are dropping the hints some new hints they are just reading in your energy they are reading into your energy they have something to hide they have some some secret also they carry with them okay so now this person is like after three years this person telling you that i think finally we should meet this person themselves like different places at different locations were happening with different people okay finally we should meet finally we have to meet like maybe tomorrow we'll meet so day after tomorrow we'll meet you know something like that and you are full on ready for two nights you cannot sleep for two days you're so excited so happy so you know like a child you're excited like a child you're like oh my god finally finally i'm gonna meet this person and they will suddenly say you know what i'm stuck in some problem uh i'm, I'm so sorry uh i cannot do this or they will directly not say i cannot do this but they will start talking about some issues they will start talking about some things like i'm too lazy I'm too unwell or you know what I'm just so tired they will either tell you one of their problems some big problem that they faced in life and you know they're all set to solve it and they will make you feel like what a horrible human being you are a person is going through all these problems a person is going through all these tensions and all you care about is meeting that person in person like wow this person can actually put you on a very very weird type of a guilt trip so my dear friends uh, whosoever i'm channeling the strongest energy has actually cut out from this person and this is actually a big victory in your spiritual journey because in your inner work journey slowly and gradually you have to learn who to cut out from your life who to uproot whose roots to plant whose roots to water and who's not to plant and not to water which are the seeds which are good seeds which are the seeds which are not good seeds your seeds are like thoughts also you know lots of things you have learned and one of those things is cutting away from such a toxic connection such a weird connection where there is literally nothing but mind games nothing but mind games okay it's a victory in itself to be able to get out of such a such an energy and to heal yourself to also feel proud of who you are to not take it personally to be like okay this person is playing games with me i'm the obviously there i'm ready i have given so much and you have given a lot to this person that's what i'm being shown different cases are being shown to me it could be different people also have done the same thing to you but to each and every person you have given a lot in some cases you gave a lot of emotional support in some cases you were mentally there intuitively there for them you know solving their problems talking to them you know giving them motivation in some cases you've also given yourself physically to this this type of person or these type of people different type of people but this point has come in your life where you can't take it anymore you're falling sick maybe you're feeling sick maybe you feel a pain in your stomach every time you think about such people you are actually feeling very disgusted by these people like there was a time where you were like you know what you had very good feelings but now looking at all of these 
games these prolonged games you feel disgusted and sick to your stomach for these type of people you are in no mood to connect with these type of people or this type of specific person this is what the channeling's energy is all about so this is where i'm also going to close this session if you have any questions related to this channeling please mention you can also mention your situation maybe i'll try to pick on to one of those which is like going to help more more and more people so this is my email address the sunamoon@gmail.com if you're looking for a personal session then you can connect with me over here after you check out the description box below which has the details on the fees and also it mentions about therapies there is also a link to my book and to patreon if you want to support my content you can do that other than that my dear friends as i just said you can book your personal session with me kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me or your spiritual ascension journey your star seed ascension journey in advance with me because i use spiritual tools and modalities to bring you the answers and solutions all the credit for these psychic abilities and gifts and even the methodology and the tools i use all of the credit goes to my masters and souls because i'm a spiritual therapist people like us we have to do self study and without grace i don't think we can do this work because this type of work requires a lot of prayers a lot of faith and as a person also one has to go through many trials and tribulations themselves like we have to go through it ourselves we work it out we find the answers we do therapy we do heal ourselves and we use obviously the power of source source is love is given to us only then we can achieve any of these situations and even channel these type of deep and sensitive thoughts so thank you 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 to masters and source and thank you to all of you lovely people who are on the path of inner work and raising the vibration of this planet i will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram